be here. You still have my support in the Boys and Girls Club. We're not in this alone. Um, just hopefully we'll catch up one day. Love y'all. Bye. Make sure to return the BK Lady Farm. Alright, so I want to thank you guys for taking time to watch this video. I hope you had fun and I'll see you soon. Bye. Because you wouldn't want to do like all your dots on one side and then not have any dots for the other. Or you do, if that's what you want. I can do this. <laughs> um, so it's a little wet. Um, I'm ready to hit stop. I'm ready to hit reset. Welcome to Clubcast! I'm your host, Miguel Guerrero. I'm your other host, Bert Garcia. How about that number one video, Bert? That was pretty good! I lava a good science experiment. Uh, actually, you know what? That was pretty good. It's fall, and that means that leaves and temperatures are finally starting to fall. So let's cozy up for a delicious apple snack with Miss Dominguez from Overton. Welcome, guys. Today we're going to go ahead and be making a healthy snack with the following ingredients. Some cookie butter spread. If you don't have this peanut butter, it's okay. I have um, half a cup of this. I have half a cup of chocolate chips. An apple. Two spoons. Our nut. And our cutting board. Alright, guys, so our first step is going to go ahead and cut the egg. Just cut our apples to go ahead and make a flat surface just like so now we're gonna go ahead and cut our apple in half just like so and then we're gonna go ahead and make three cuts just like so one in one corner and two just in our corner so then we have these Wedges, we're going to repeat the same process for this corner and then for the following corner. So we have our apples cut. Our second step is going to take our chocolate chips and our cookie spread to the microwave for about a minute until the chocolate is melted as well as our cookie butter. Alright guys, so we have melted our chocolate as well as our cookie butter spread. I'm going to go ahead and start by drizzling some of our nice and warm chocolate around our apple, just like so. Just like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and then drizzle our cookie butter into our apples as well. Like this, making sure that we get enough of our white right, guys. Now, let's just finish drizzling our cookie spread, just like so, making sure our apples get plenty of it. And this is our snack. We're ready to go ahead and enjoy it. It's something that definitely kids could enjoy, and families could go ahead and make. It has um, great if it's warm, they could add a little bit more marshmallows or just add more chocolate chips. I hope that you guys enjoy this snack and we'll go ahead and see you next time. Bye bye. Wow, what a healthy and tasty snack, Bert. Hey, you're vegan. What's your favorite way to use apples? You know what? I like applesauce myself.
Now it's time for our staff spotlight, so let's catch up with Miss Leanne from LBJ High School. Hello, my name is Miss Leanne, and I work at LBJ High School as an academic coordinator of success. I've been working for the Boys and Girls Club for two years. It is a great, rewarding, and enriching experience. I enjoy being able to make a difference in a young person's life each day. My favorite childhood memory is going to Washington, D.C. every summer to visit my family with my mother. It was a great experience, and I had memories that I would cherish forever. My favorite activity to do at the club with our club members is Grill It or Eat It. It's an activity that we do every Friday, and the students get to pick a meal that they would like to prepare. And it's a wonderful experience. The children get to make a meal from scratch, and when they are done, they get to sit down and enjoy the great meal that they have prepared. Hey Miguel, so this week we're sort of doing a new segment here. What's this for? You don't know. So this summer we had mail call from our club directors and now that we're heading back to school we're happy to bring you lunchbox chats. Back to school messages from the club directors you know and love. So this week let's check in on Mr. Paul from Home Club. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Paul Turner from The Home Club. Hope y'all had a great summer. Um, I just wanted to wish you guys well as you start your school year, okay? Um, we've been working hard. Uh, we're gonna start virtual learning pods uh, actually on September 8th. So I hope, I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. So um, take care. Hope you're enjoying your last couple weeks of summertime and uh, see you soon. Hey, it's great to see Paul again. It's nice to have him back. Yeah, thanks for the message, Paul. Now it's time for our Club on the Go update. So after 25 weeks, we've Burr, burr. Oh, what's this? Breaking news. I'm excited to report that the Boys and Girls Club is now opening a new location at Booker T. Washington starting September 14th. We're excited to be able to help and serve those families. And now, in our returning segment, here's the joke of the week. Hello, I am Caitlin, and I'm going to tell you the joke of the day. The joke of the day is, why do fish live? Why are fish so smart? Because they live in school. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for a Healthy Lifestyles Tip of the Week. I can't wait to see how Fernando ruins the budget for this week. Making healthy eats, seven days a week. Food so yummy, yeah we're healthy in the streets. Gonna teach you about nutrition. About food roots and some water, all things nutrition. Live your best life and get healthy with some nutrition. Greens will come in first, also known as carbs. Rice bread, pasta, yeah, that's whole wheat, y'all. Next, pour some veggies right onto your plate. Don't forget fruit, I call it Tony the Tiger, cause man, they're great. Gonna teach you about nutrition. About food groups and some water, all things nutrition. Live your best life and get healthy with some nutrition. Another food group, not just about meat, it's called protein, and you wanna make sure that it's lean. Fish, chicken, nuts, that's what I mean. Throw some eggs in and try to eat plenty of beans. I would hate to have to follow Fern. And now for another great academic success tip, let's go over to Miss Nicole. Hey everyone, Miss Nicole here with your academic fact of the week. Did you know that the geographical center of the continental U.S. is located in a city called Lebanon, Kansas? Who knew? And to think, I thought Lebanon was a country. Well, that's all I got for this week. Till next week, see you then and stay safe. Bye! Now for your Club on the Go update. For the first time in 25 weeks, our Club on the Go program was rained out last week. But that gives us an opportunity to share our new Club on the Go schedule starting this week. And here it is. In order to provide the Club on the Go service to all of our members, we are expanding our locations. Please take a look at the list for the nearest location to you. Also, please see the full list on our website at bgcaustin.com or call 512-444-7199 for a complete list of all Club on the Go locations. We'll see you there.
Now it's time for our weekly giveaway where one subscriber will win an HEB gift card. To enter, just like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So, this week's winner, Meredith Gonzalez. If I just said your name, please call us at 512-444-7199, extension 120. Thank you all for tuning in, and hopefully we see you here again next week. Yeah, good luck to all you guys on your virtual learning, and we're proud of you for all the hard work you've put in. Tune in next week for Cozy Corner. Signing out.